Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see how to connect Windows Azure Service Bus Q with new USB. So today we will going to send some message to Q. Uh, okay, and I will show you one demo on that. So first thing I have to create, I have to log into Windows Azure Service Bus. Okay, so let me let me go to the service bus. I have to create one service bus. So I will say create. I will say mule demo SB. Okay. I will okay, select the country. Right click on this. Okay. It will create a service bus for you. So, so now we will see like sorry, we need to install a service bus connector. In my case, it's already installed. So you have to connect to the exchange like that. Click on search exchange. Okay, I to type service bus. Okay, so you can see the Microsoft Azure Service Bus Connector. In my case, it's already installed. So it, that's why it was showing the install button is disabled. So in your case, it will show install button like this. Okay, so you can simply click on install. It will install the you know Microsoft Azure Service Bus Connector in your mule palette. Okay, and after installation, it will ask to restart your mule, so you can do that, and it will complete your installation process. So once it's done, then we are ready to connect the Windows Azure Service Bus queue. So for that, we will create file new project. I will say SB queue application for runtime. I will select click on it only. Rest of the setting I am not going to touch. I will say finish. First thing I will drag and drop HTTP listener component into canvas. I will configure it. Okay, I will say rest, I will keep all the settings default. At first I have click on the connector configuration add button and I will keep all settings default. Under path I can give a SB. I will say allow method is force. Fine. Now next thing I will drag and drop service bus connector. Okay, this is my service bus into the canvas into the message processor region. So for that we need to do some configuration. See, we want all this thing. Okay, so see, we in the connector configure we can see a multiple things. So we will select Azure Service Bus. So when you select Azure Service Bus, it requires service bus namespace, say access key, and say access name. So for that you have to go to the service bus. Okay, so we will go there and we will click on connection information. Copy this connection information to some notepad. First thing you have to provide service bus name space. So you have to just provide the name of the service bus. Then share access key name. This is your share access key name. Then you have to provide the key. Click on test connection to verify if connection is successful. If this, you know, it, it we are able to connect the service bus. Okay, test connection is successful. Now press on OK. So we will again go back to the service bus. Okay, and we will go to queue. We, will, we can create the queue from there also, but we will create it from here. So queue quick create. I will say test queue. I will click on this finish. Okay. It is an option to create the queue also. So queue create, you have to provide the name. Okay. But in this demo, we will going to send the message. So I will say queue send. So what is the destination queue? It will going to list the available queue. Okay. So it automatically lists all the queue available with service bus. And what we have to send the payload. Fine. So these are the settings you need to do. Now what I will do, I will just drag and drop one set payload. I will say message send to queue. 
let me save the application i will start the application so let me verify how many in queue we don't have any messages right now zero byte zero queue length this is my message we are going to send it application has been deployed you can see now what i will do i will send this okay i know that because the message is not correct so you now try to this all now try to send me again Okay, it was saying fail to invoke you. What is the error? Okay, I have to convert this into a string to. I will save it again. I will send it again. See now message sent to queue. So we will verify. Currently it was zero. Let me ver verify. Let me again go to queue. See, you can see the length is one now. The queue length is one, and the size is 293 byte. I will send one more. I will send more. This is third message. Four, five. Okay. So I have sent totally five messages. So it should show five. Let me go to queue. See, you can see the five messages and current size is this. Okay. This is how you can send the message to queue. If you want to read the message from queue. So you can use the queue receive message, fine. Right? So basically, like uh, you have something called wait, queue get. Okay. So you have to provide the queue path. So it will automatically list down the queue path, and you can start receiving the message from the queue. Fine. Right? So this is how you can you know like uh, connect a Windows Azure Service Bus queue to receive, to send, or to create a queue. Okay. Hope you have enjoyed the view. Uh, demo thanks for watching video